Hey guys, so here are some of the ingredients you're gonna need to make a nice vegan and gluten-free lasagna. This is my wife's famous recipe and she wanted to share it with you guys. So basically you need two jars of organic pasta sauce of your choice, two cans of lentils, some cashews, raw cashews, nutritional yeast, two boxes um, of the gluten-free lasagna. You could use any type, but this is a green lentil one. But uh, just make sure it's gluten-free. And we got two boxes of tofu, extra firm, very important. And these are the dairy-free cheeses that we'll be using, a blend of each. You'll need some hummus, a lot of spinach, and some bell peppers. And there might be a few more ingredients, but uh, I'll show you how we make it and go from there. All right, next we gotta saute our veggies. We got some chopped onions going in and some chopped bell pepper. And how long are we sauteing this day? Five minutes. Five minutes. A little sizzle. And we got more things going in this pot for the meat of the lasagna. Well, the vegan meat that is. We're turning our two cans of lentils here. All right, we got our nice clean lentils going in, two cans. All right. Get that little turn. Hope you guys try this recipe. This is one of our favorite vegan gluten free options. So we're gonna season it after this. We got our seasons going into the mix now. So, first, we got our cumin, ground cumin going in. About half a teaspoon of salt, a dash, a dash of garlic powder. Okay. And some cayenne pepper. Everything is average, guys. So you can you can put these spices as you feel fit. And we got some uh, fresh uh, dried parsley. Fresh dried parsley. Nice. Also some Italian seasoning. Yep. So get creative, guys. Get creative here. Season is how you like. So now that we got all the seasonings in here, we're gonna get a little a little stir. And then we're gonna add some of our pasta sauce to it. We got both our organic pasta sauces going in there now. They're both gluten free and organic and low in sodium. So go ahead, babe. Ooh. Yes. Look at that, guys. Give this a nice little stir. And you can see it looks kind of like a, a meaty texture, like, you know? It's gonna be really good in the lasagna. You don't have to try this recipe out. So now that we got this all mixed up, we're gonna let it simmer for 10 minutes on a nice low medium heat. And of course, rinse out your jars to get every last piece of pasta sauce out. All right, guys, we got our one and a half cup of boiled cashews going into the blender. We got about a cup of water. We got some, we got a teaspoon of salt going in. One clove of garlic. And one teaspoon of onion powder, organic. And we're gonna put in three tablespoons of this large flake nutritional yeast. And we got the one teaspoon of lemon juice going in. And this is the kind of consistency you want, guys. So keep blending until it looks like this. Once again, this is for the cashew cream for the ricotta. All right, so we got a pound of crumbled up tofu here. And we're gonna go ahead and add some Italian seasoning, one teaspoon. Also, a half cup of hummus. And the cashew cream we just made, guys. Check it out, how smooth and nice. A half cup of that. And one pound of spinach. Chopped up 
finally in the blender. And this is for our vegan ricotta. And the lentil sauce is all done. You can see it simmered down a little bit, got a little thick. So this is how it's looking so far. All right, so we're gonna start making the lasagna, guys. So pay attention, because this is important. We're gonna put some of our sauce on the bottom so it doesn't stick. So there we go, we got a layer of the sauce here. And there's our gluten-free lasagna sheets. So go ahead and put a layer of that next. And you wanna make sure to try to cover up as much space as you can, so. So don't, don't be afraid to break them apart and just stick them where you feel fit to just cover up all the sauce area. Next, we're going in with our ricotta that we made. Put a nice layer of that. And since we have, we made quite a bit, you know, don't be afraid to use a good amount. There we go, we got a nice little layer of that right on top of the lasagna. And here we go with some more of the sauce. Our yummy lentils. I'm gonna cover up this layer with that. Since we got our layer of lentils there now, we're gonna put some dollops of our extra cashew cream into the mix. And then just kinda spread it around, you know? It doesn't have to cover up everything. We're just putting little specks of it here and there. And we're going in with some of our cheese now, the mozzarella one. All right, so now that we got some of the sprinkled cheese on there, we're gonna start our next layer, guys. We got a layer of our gluten-free lasagna again. And you wanna try to make sure to cover up as much surface area as you can. That's very important for just to be whole and bake fully. You can see how wonderful of a job my wife is doing here, covering all this space, the extra spaces. And now we're just gonna repeat the process of what we just did. So we're gonna do a layer of this, and then some more lentils, and then some dollops of the cream, and the mozzarella. And just keep going for another layer. Almost done with the second layer. Like I said, we did a layer of the lasagna, the ricotta, the lentils, and now some dolls of this. Going with the last layer of lasagna. And be sure to alternate your, your lasagna, guys. If you started that horizontal on the bottom, then do a vertical on the next layer, and then diagonal again. So repeat three layers for this lasagna. Try to keep that in mind when you're putting all the ingredients. We got one layer of the ricotta left. It takes some work, guys, but trust me, it's totally worth it. Putting the last layer of lentils on there. I'm going in with some of our basil on top. If you have fresh basil, be sure to use that. Make sure to give it a good shake, guys, so everything settles. And we're gonna go ahead and line the top with some parchment paper and foil. Mm -hmm. Airtight. Lasagna in oven for 55 minutes at 400 degrees. There we go. So. Took it out the oven, let's check it out real quick. I need to see if it's fully cooked. Wow, look at that. Stick the knife, the fork in there. Make sure those lasagnas are cooked. And it feels cooked to me. We're all good to go guys. We're gonna let it cool down for a good hour or so. And then we'll see how it looks. Guys. Look at this lasagna close up, how beautiful it looks. I'm about to cut a piece for you guys so I can show you the inside. All right, here we go guys. Small piece just to show y'all. Something slight, you know. And there it is guys. Look at the inside of this. 
Wow. Beautiful. Let's do a quick taste test for y'all so you can see the real reaction. Cheers, man. Mm. Excellent. Please try this recipe, guys. You'll love it.